today we will learn more about the first sacrament the sacrament of baptism in baptism we give him or her a treasure we give them a pledge the holy spirit pope francis tells us that after receiving the baptism the child will be strengthened by the holy spirit and will help him or her throughout their life effects of receiving baptism baptism means to plunge or immerse or wash plunge means to dive in a person is immersed in water and rises to new life in christ immersing in water signifies losing our sins and becoming new person in christ we become children of god through baptism we become the child of god not just a child of the world it forgives all sins including original sin and all personal sins hope you know what original sin is original sin is a sin of our first parents adam and eve we obtain sanctifying grace it turns a person into a newly adopted son of god and we become a member of the church we become the temple of the holy spirit john chapter 3 verse 5 very truly i tell you no one can enter the kingdom of god unless they are born of water and spirit here jesus is telling us about the spirit it is the holy spirit the divine life giver he is telling us that unless we are born of water and spirit you won't enter into the kingdom of god kingdom of god refers to god's ways so baptism is necessary for living as god's children in this life and the next let's see which are the different steps in receiving the sacrament of baptism naming of baby the infant is brought to the church by parents godparents and relatives the priest will call the infant by the new name and makes the sign of the cross on its head we can also receive the names of the saints to obtain special protection from them which are the two holy oils that are used in baptism first oil of catechumens second holy chrism oil let's see why we are anointed with the oil of catechumens the infant is anointed just before receiving the waters of baptism This anointing is to strengthen the one being baptized to turn away from evil, temptation and sin. As you can see in the picture, the priest anoints with oil of catechumens on its chest to receive the strength of Jesus. Water of life. The priest calling the infant by name pours water on the head three times in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and baptizes the infant. Let's see why we are anointed with Holy Chrism Oil. Anointing with Chrism Oil signifies the gift of the Holy Spirit. It is to make them holy to do God's service. Following an infant's baptism with water and before he receives a white garment the cross with chrism oil is traced on the forehead of the child As you can see in the picture 
the priest anoints with the oil of chrism on baby's forehead to make the infant partaker in Christ's triple mission. The Christ's triple mission includes priestly mission, prophetic mission, and kingly mission. White Clothes The priest will put a white cloth on the infant. White cloth means purity of Jesus' new life, and we put on Christ. Baptismal Candle Fire represents the light of the Holy Spirit. Christ is also known as the light of the world. The baptismal candle is lighted from the paschal candle. With the help of the Godfather, the priest makes the infant to hold the lighted candle. Then comes Ephata Rite. The priest blesses the ears to listen to the word of God and the lips to proclaim the good news. After the Ephata Rite, Everyone together recites Our Father, and the priest blesses everyone. It is the duty of Godparents to help the parents to bring up the child in Christian faith. Godparents are someone who gives good example for their Godchild and an active member in the church. Take care that they grow up with the light, with the power of the Holy Spirit, through catechesis, assistance, teaching, the example you give at home. Pope Francis gives a message to all parents to bring up children with the power of the Holy Spirit by teaching the Word of God and show them by practice as well. That's all about the sacrament of baptism. Thank you for watching. May God bless you all.